Welcome back. So today we are going to be reviewing an item. The item we are going to be reviewing is Koki Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. So here it is. It's very cute. It has like this little elephant on the end. I'm going to apologize now for all of uh, Baby A's talking. So this is it right here. Um, my only concern about this is it's illuminating concealer. This was one of the items we got in our Ipsy bag and why it's concerning to me is because I have oily skin already. So when you're adding illuminating, you just come out looking really shiny. Um, but we're definitely gonna give it a try. Here's what the wand looks like. Okay, now I do have a little bit of information on this one. Unfortunately, Ipsy quit giving us the card that had all the information on it because they hate us or something. I don't know, but I do have the little thing from the app that kind of tells us everything. So I can go and tell you a little bit about it. Um, so it's considered this is your perfect spring concealer. The lightweight formula covers blemishes, evens out skin tone and gets you glowing. The medium to full coverage concealer is loaded with illuminating pigments to camouflage dark circles. It doubles as a highlighter in a pinch. Just swipe a little on wherever you want to glow. The streak-free, crease-free formula lasts for morning, from morning to night. Okay, so I found some good things and some bad things in that statement. So I have some blemishes, so hopefully it will cover them up. I have some dark circles under my eyes, so hopefully it covers that up. You can also use it as a highlighter. So wherever you place it, it's gonna shine. That's concerning, you guys. But we'll try it, we'll try it. You guys know I'm blind, so off comes the glasses. Um, I always put my concealer directly on the face and then I normally put it on my chin, my nose, under my eyes, and then the forehead. Um, I always do my nose because I have really big pores on my nose, you guys. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to start off with a small amount, you guys, because um, if this also works as a highlighter, I don't want to be glowing. I also am one who does not like to use a lot of concealer, too, so this is kind of like a normal amount I would use for any concealer, so keep that in mind. I want to smell it. Is that weird? You guys, it doesn't smell like anything. Like nothing. It smells like nothing. Okay, so now I have my damp um, beauty blender and I'm just going to go ahead and blend these areas out. Okay, so it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be like major shine and I was a little nervous. My chin is a little shiny now, but that's okay. I always powder down afterwards, so hopefully that will help. I mean, I highlight my nose, so I'm not too worried about it. I haven't highlighted, obviously, because I'm still applying but it's a little shiny, it's okay. okay. And then under eye. So I don't know if anyone else's under eyes get stained from like mascara or eyeliner from the previous day, but mine gets stained. So I get these awful dark circles. It makes it look like I just have dark circles under my eyes, which is not the case. like to put some concealer on my eyelid just because it like makes your eye look even and then on top of it it works really great as a um like eye primer <laughs> for eyeshadows so okay all right so it is kind of shiny but we knew that because it was eliminating so I'm not gonna be mad at it there I just don't know why okay. Ipsy would send me something if I'm oily already but whatever okay let me put my glasses on so I can get some really good thoughts because I can't see. I'm blind, so I can't go off of that. Okay. So, first things first. It says it's medium to full coverage. It worked great on my forehead, but you can still see my blemishes. My nose is whatever. I mean, I don't always make sure my nose is completely covered. It's a little shiny and then I only got rid of a small amount of the dark circles under my eyes but they were super stained so I am going to go back in with a little bit to see if I can cure these blemishes 
If not, then I'll give a final thought. So I'm going to put these like right on top and we'll go from there. So I really try to like make it work. You get what I'm saying? Like I want to love every product I get. I'm just that human. I want to love it. I want to love it. So I will make myself love it. But at the end of the day, if it really isn't working, then I can't really love it, right? Okay, I'm going to add a little more under my eyes to you guys. Let's just do it, right? I mean, we're already here. Why stop now? Okay. So, like I said, normal concealer that I use is NYX. And I normally have to apply once and everything is fine. Sometimes on my really hard blemishes, I do have to apply twice. So, not completely mad. I'm pretty sure I just got this in my eyeball also. And it doesn't burn, so that's a plus. You know, I don't suggest you put it in the eye. And it probably says somewhere on there, like, don't get in your eyeball. But, you know, just in case you do, it doesn't burn. So, that's always a plus. Okay, let's try these glasses on once more. Okay, you guys. So, putting a little more on the blemish, you can still see it, which leads me a little upset because my next one, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, for the nose, I think it covered pretty much about the same as my next one would. And then for my eyes, um, I had to apply twice and they still look kind of dark. Um, for the forehead, perfect no problems illuminating yeah that's a little shiny I don't know if I would use it separately as a highlighter in a pinch but I guess it kind of varies on what kind of highlight you're talking about like some people highlight to make their face lighter some people highlight to like glittery highlight I glittery highlight so I don't know which one they're talking about but I wouldn't use it as a highlighter um so all in all my thoughts are is I'm gonna give it a three star and I'm gonna give it a three star because it didn't cover up the blemish and I had to go on my eyes twice and it didn't cover it up. Um, but it did the forehead fine and the nose fine. So maybe if you added some more powder, like some setting powder. I normally use like a mineral setting powder. That would help cover everything and that would be fine. Um, but I personally am going to give this a three star rating. And that is the Koki Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer Corrector. Alright guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell so you can get notifications whenever we upload a new video, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram. I'll link it below. Alright guys, bye!